Hello everybody, my name is Master Rolfus, and we have a pretty interesting map for you guys today. We have four celestial bodies that we can spawn on. We got Yogamard, and we have Morana K, and then we have Cold Land of the Doctor, which kind of doctor it is, I don't know, and then we have Fenris. So let's see, what's the best spawn? We have six mexes over here, not a lot of potential expansions, three mexes here, none over there. Four over there, and this one has nothing. This one has shit. Okay, we're going on Fenris. Has a little bit better mech's sort of a placement. Spawn seven, and then we also have this gas plant that we can utilize to try to kind of get out like a god tier eco. We have no end gamers on this map at all. No moons, no metal planets. Gonna have to just use our nukes, our quick wits, our good looks. That's basically about it. So, will I spawn right next to someone? No, I won't. Awesome. Usually I hate maps made by other people, but this seems pretty darn fair, actually. This is a four-player map, so... You would expect it to be fair. Alright, let's go ahead and get an air factory. The reason why I'm gonna do that is because if I am all alone, I can go ahead and claim all these mexes. No problem, no sweat, really, really fast. However, if I'm surrounded by other people, then I can go bombers really early on. Try to kill some fools. So that's pretty darn fan tiddly tastic. I do know there's a ton of mods that people want me to download. Some UI mods and a mod that changes the batch from 5 um, to about 500 or 300 or so for every single click when you hold down shift when it comes to creating units. But I'm way too lazy. And I have a German midterm to fail. Alright then. Go circle across the planet. Same with you. Do, 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 do. Good. Now let's go for our air fibers. So far, nobody. Nobody at all. That's, that's great. This is great. Yeah. Look that I'm all by myself. So that's good. This is this is just glorious. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to get out air fibers all over. I'm going to try and maybe just maybe get out missile launchers as soon as I can possibly muster them out or alternatively we can go for boom bots a teleporter oh, oh god and then just like send Christmas early to my opponents that would be also pretty wonderful let me go ahead and build a power plant and then another air factory what are you doing don't don't build hummingbirds Help me build crap, okay? Help, you fool. Help! There we go. Look at this. Oh, just amazing. Some players will have a partner. Other, other planets will basically be completely empty. And you know what? Anything can really happen in this game. There have been way too many times when I've been stuck with some other Dongarino. Fighting for control over a planet. I'm sick and tired of it. Sick of it. You hear me? Sick of it. Hold on, let me get out another air factory. And another one. Get all the air factories. Oh, glorious air gods shall arise from the heavens. With four air fibers on power, I feel pretty darn awesome about my energy production pretty soon we however have to be a little bit wary that we don't run ourselves too thin on the other resources remember that air fibers do consume more power I think and metal than any other fabricators so that's something that you're gonna have to watch out for we can stop producing the air factory why do we need another air factory Pop quiz, we don't. 
maybe even stop our air fabric production to be honest for the time being now let's see you can go over there really fast really quick thank you let's stop our factory production for now yeah that keeps our economy pretty darn stable actually Soon we'll have enough eco to get out here too just want to see what happens when everything's producing in conjunction like this. Um, yeah, everything's fine. Yeah, we can get here too. I have to wait out a little bit. God, how many fabrics is that? Nine? Shit. That is... That is incredibly ridiculous. How I can put out like nine fibers right off the bat. But we gotta do it. We gotta do it. Okay, now where's my mex production? Right over there. You can stop for now. Yeah, you know what? Let's just stop on power as well. Just to get this out as fast as possible. Okay, good. Should be out in about a second. Like a ripe open pizza. Just put out of the oven. Alright then. Go out and build, my friend. Build. And now let's see. What shall the first thing be? Well, let's get out and advance energy. Right off the bat, because energy is always becoming a problem. You guys go for energy, metal, energy, and metal storage really quick. No, don't produce hornets and kestrels. What, what are we going to do with a hornet? God damn it. Tier 2 air factory, listen to me. I'll spank your nan. Ah, wonderful. You're done. You're done too. Hornet's done. Hornet just, uh, I guess, troll. Go. Be free. Be free, Hornet Senpai. Be free. Travel around the whole world with your Hornetness beauty. Alright. So, let's go ahead and get some tier 2 mechs right off the bat. We get 2 2 energy from. This little guy over there. What the fuck? You you left to the to what planet? Here? Really think no one lives over there? I guess good for you. But I mean, there's probably somebody living over there. I'm just saying. Oh well, I guess we'll have to wait and see if he gets destroyed or not. Keep building, keep building, keep building. Now, let's get some orbital fabricators up and running. Actually, hold on a tick. Advanced energy. Go. Just go. Come on, advanced energy. Go. Go, 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 go. Produce. Produce, my friend. Produce. Orbital fiber. I need you. I need you, and I want you. Actually, realistically, we should kind of be focusing on our metal situation a little bit more. So after this advanced energy plant, I'm gonna go ahead and continue my tier two max production. 
Okay, good. You guys can stop. You can just get tier one max, I guess, all over the planet. That doesn't hurt, right? Might already have a stronger eco than most people already right off the bat. That's pretty fantastic. Right now, my economy isn't hemorrhaging, so that's good. Ooh, Orbital Factory has been located. Enemy contact would be there. Okay, so we have a pretty good amount of Orbital Empires that have formed up. Let me go ahead and continue producing Orbital Fabers. Wow, everybody has a little chunk of territory. That's really wonderful, actually. Good for them. Good for them. Oh, well, it's not going to be good for me, though, as time goes on. Especially if they get bigger empires than me. Stop us trade with the natives. Become a world superpower. Actually, intergalactic superpower. Come on, my little orbital fabrics. All you need to do is move. All you need to do is move. We could maybe get out another tier 2 orbital. I mean, not tier 2 orbital. We could get out another tier 2 air factory, but that wouldn't work. Where's your commander, by the way? Did you just fuck off? You did fuck off. Okay. Pink has a huge orbital array. Hopefully, we'll be able to fix that out. Okay, let me go ahead and just focus on primarily herbal production here. We'll get some tier 2 energy. Nope, tier 2 energy here. Let's see. I would love to get another orbital factory if it means we can get more Avengers out on the field. All right, go ahead and keep building, guys. My last hope, sadly. At least the more and more stuff that's being produced, the happier my economy is going to be. At the end of the day, it is my economy. So I care about my baby. Like some people who don't care about their economy. Keep going, keep going. We need those tier 2 mechs up and running. Do we have two teams of tier 2 mechs builders? Yes, we do. And we have one team of um, tier 2 energy builders. Pink, where are you going? Wow, he must really be hunting that guy down. I'd like to send over a scout really quick over here. Might just be about time we go set up some military buildings and try to get out a landing party for our invasion of pink. Or anybody, really. Yeah, as you can see, look at this. Ooh, I wonder. I wonder. I could build a laser platform. go ahead and rush out one of these laser platforms here. Might be able to get an insta-kill on pink. If we're careful, if we're lucky. I also stopped building T2 energy. That was a mistake. Okay, you're dead. That's alright. I'll avenge you. Let me 
me go ahead and send in some of my adventures there right now. In fact, no, no, no. Don't send in the adventures. So wait a tick. Wait a blooming tick. Let me go ahead and build some kestrels right now. Where are you, laser platform? Where are you? You're coming. Avengers are coming in. Oh, I can do it. Yeah. Merry Christmas to me. Let me go see if I can take them out with some Avengers and some laser platform awesomeness. Well, there goes my need for a military. Um, I guess production line. Let's get build some Kestrels and everything. Just to prepare me for the end. But well, it seems like the end won't come. Yeah, our economy is pretty much too good right now to fail. I'm building Kestrels because a lot of players, myself included, don't really build a ton of uh, orbital, uh, not orbital, air units when they're invading. Oh. It almost went poorly for us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Woo! <laughs> that was... That was almost a failure because of those anchors right over there. So this was a pretty spankadilishly easy game, but I mean everybody really had like the same luck except for I guess Blue who got fucked over really really early on. Yeah, Pink was the closest thing to my opponent. Just did a really bad job of self-awareness I guess. was able to skyrocket past him for the better half of the game but that's due to my air production if I left him alone he probably would have been able to dominate because he had like two plants under his control anyway my name is Nassar Rolfus I'll see you guys next time bye bye